Now, I'm being told that we have a special 70s mystery guest. Uh, and I'm going to read three clues, and we can try to guess who it is. And this is real, folks. The so people at home need to know. I do not know uh, who the mystery guest is, and I love that about this show. My mystery guest shared a bedroom with two TV siblings. Shared a bedroom with two TV... The first thing that came to mind was... Uh, the other... Yeah, they, there were three of them in a room together? Really? Many teenagers in the 70s had a crush... Uh, on my on my mystery guest, Gary Williams, oh, uh, ba uh, Barry Williams from uh, from uh, Brady Bunch. Yeah, I I had a crush on Cindy. Yeah, yeah. No, I like I liked them all, but I I had a crush on. I was a kid. I was like seven. Yeah. Uh, not now. <laughs> it's. it's I, I look the the creepy part though right now. It's that's so it's so gross. My mystery guest character went to prom with Davy Jones. Let's see who it is, folks. Oh, my God. 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 My heart is beating. Oh, my God. No, no, I'm so excited. It's so cute. I can't believe it. I'm, I'm, I'm in shock. I'm really, I'm really, I'm really... I can't believe this. Come over, come over here. We, okay. I, I'm, I'm speechless, and this is a I talk show. I love your outfit. You like it? It's so awesome. Here, come, come join Thank me. Thank you. I am so freaked out right now. You look amazing. Oh my gosh, you thank look... you, Harry. Have a, have a seat. I have, so I have a crush on you, like what woman doesn't. That's so nice. <laughs> to say, to have... Such a sexy, like, talented, like, you do everything, you're great. Thank you. Um, yeah. To hear Maureen so... McCormick tell me that she thinks I'm sexy is the coolest thing ever. Oh, yeah. Wow. Admire wow. you so much. Thank you so much. That's so much. Thank you. And my daughter, who's 27, who's the most amazing human being, is in love with this show. Oh, she that's says so nice. it's so fresh, so uplifting, so crazy fun. Like, yeah. So that means so so much to me, and it's it's such a, an incredible experience for me doing this show because I get to meet people that I admire. Uh, and as I talk to you, of course, I've seen you know every episode of the Brady Bunch, and I was. <laughs> such a fan and still I'm such a fan but as I'm talking to you 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 haven't changed and, and your eyes are as beautiful and your smile and your skin and you just look so lovely yeah. <laughs> hey boy if I had a crystal ball I mean can you imagine now uh, now wait though I, I hear it was Cindy so but you know you know why because I felt like you were out of my league I felt like I didn't have a chance my God. With you. Now, how many times a day would you say you get recognized as Marsha? A lot. Like, a lot. <laughs> yeah. Now, did you ever, like, were you ever on And the, you know what the coolest part is? Like, just to see people's reactions, because, like, they so genuinely love the show, and it... Genuinely... You know, I mean, how lucky, how lucky am I to have been in something that just is in the hearts of everyone and that's lived on sure. and brings smiles, you know, to it's people's It's all faces. positive and it yeah. brings back such nice memories. It was yeah. such a great show and I, I like everyone, we, we, we all adore you in it. Yeah. Now, on the set, yeah. did you ever steal anything or take anything from the set? <laughs> you did? Yeah. What did you take? Um, I don't want to get you in trouble. So I took this, okay, it was when we were doing A, a Very Brady Christmas. Do you remember that? Oh, yes. <laughs> There were a lot of them. Um, so, yeah, there was this really kind of, like, crazy Santa that was wooden, and it said Merry Christmas, and I, I just thought, well, I want that in my house, so, so I have a piece of the show. That's so cool. So I took it, but I actually think I ended up selling it in a garage sale or giving it oh, to... Oh, no! Or giving it to, like, Ark or, you know, one of those places that comes and collects stuff because he looked a little possessed, his eyes. <laughs> it was creepy? Yeah, yeah. But wow. um, I've got, like, I've got tons of the old scripts. I've got a lunchbox. That's I've price, got... price. Those things are yeah, priceless. It's American yeah. history at this yeah. point. Now, 
Did you actually go on a date or a couple of dates with MJ, with Michael Jackson? Yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah, I mean... When was that? What, do you remember what year that was? I was like 15 and a half, 16, because I could drive him. Wow. Yeah. Wow, I that's... was the older woman. But, you know, I, I, I don't know if he considered them dates. Right. I did. Yeah, of course. <laughs> but I was, I was really good friends with all the family. I, I still see some of them. We just became friends and admired each other, I think. He, mm. he loved the Brady Bunch, and, and his family did. And I used to go over to their house in Encino and, like, watch them do moves and hang out and that sing. That must have been unbelievable. It was like such an incredible time. It's so yeah. much a part of our culture, you know? Now, you were recently on Dancing with the Stars. Yeah. How was it? Oh, Harry, it was, it was the hardest thing Intense. I've ever done. I'm not a dancer. And I kept hoping that as I progressed, because I made it to the seventh week, but I was there against Lori Hernandez, who's this Olympian, and James Henchcliffe, and, you know, I mean, obviously I knew they were a lot better than me. But I kept trying to stay positive, thinking, I'm gonna have a breakthrough next week, and I'll become Lori or James, or I'll be that good. Well, it never happened. And, and it, was, it was scary for me every it's, week. Because that's hard to do. I was there, honestly, to face my fear of dancing in public now, in that's, front of millions of people. Now, that's one thing to, like, take some dance lessons to face your fear, but you faced your fear going on Dancing with the Stars. <laughs> I mean, that's really, that's a great testament to you. That's, that's amazing. So what's next? What, what's next on the plate? Um, I'm, I just finished a movie um, that was, uh, it's a horror film that's coming out next year, really, really fun, that was written by the guy who did Friday the 13th. Oh, that's great. Um, I'm doing um, a show, it's a new show by Greg Garcia, who did, uh, uh, my name is Earl oh, and cool. the Millers. I love him. And it's a guest spot on a show called The Guest Book that is like so cleverly, wonderfully written. Um, and um, yeah, there's there's other things happening. That's terrific. I'm so happy for you. I love you I'm so Harry. I love you too. And I'm just thrilled that you came back. Thank you. It's so great to meet you. We'll be right